we go. Hello. What have you got to say for yourself? Oh, it's always, oh, is your, is your eye sore? Look, he's rubbing his eye. And welcome to Jack. Jack, it's lovely to have you on board while we watch our elephant's bottom. Jack, you want to know what part of Africa are we in and are we close to the other guides? Well, we're all driving around the same reserve at the moment, which is a reserve called the Sabi Sand, which is a collection of lots of little different properties, but with no fences between them. And that forms part of a place called the Greater Kruger National Park. And maybe you could Google Kruger National Park once we've finished with our live safaris and have a look at where it is. But it is essentially right up in the top northeastern corner of South Africa. So we, the Kruger Park actually stretches from where we are all the way across to Mozambique and right up north to Zimbabwe, which are two of our neighboring countries here in South Africa. So I think it's a very special place. Oh, yes. See the thorns on that tree. It's amazing how tough an elephant's skin is. Hello, mister. I'm coming back to us now. Or is there something that smells nice there? You can see he's not bothered by us at all. His ears are slowly flapping. He's doing exactly what he might otherwise be doing, even if we weren't here. And that's why I think we're so lucky to live and to work in a place like this. Oh, somebody had an itchy foot. You see him scratching his ankle there. And the fact that the wildlife here is so content to allow us to sit with them like this and to view them. And so comfortable with us that they'll come right up next to the car. He was probably only about half a foot away from the front of this vehicle. He was just sidling past so he could get to the yummy food on the other side of me. And he's got to eat as much grass as possible because we are going into the dry season. Which means that the food's going to get less and less easy to come across. And he'll have to start, as I said, eating bark and trees and so on. Now Max, you've asked a question that I often wonder about, Shame. He's got a very sore eye. He keeps rubbing it, and he's actually rubbing it with the grass as well. I don't quite know what it is. might just be that he's got some dust or something in there. But he keeps rubbing that left eye with his trunk. I don't know if it's itchy or if it's a little bit sore. Oh, sorry, Max. We were talking, you were talking about the fact that I've also wondered this. Max, you want to know if elephants' jaws get sore? Because they chew all the time. As I said, they'll eat all day, every day. Max, I don't think so. And the reason that I don't think so is because I think that their muscles are pretty well developed because they'll start eating solid food at around about six months, of, six months old and they'll continue to chew for the rest of their lives. And obviously, as they get older, those muscles get stronger and stronger. So it's, I guess they're used to it. I guess their jaw muscles are used to it. But interestingly enough, what does happen is that their teeth wear down. And hello to Maya. Maya, while we watch him feed, of course, we've got this wonderful view of those two tusks sticking out of his upper lip. And Maya, yes, there are some elephants that don't have tusks. And um, about 4% of elephants in the wild, if that's the normal number, 4% of them are born without tusks, African elephants. But remember that both males and females in African elephants have tusks. And it's only one or two individuals that are born without them. And there you go, Ryan. You were wondering what type of elephant it is. Ryan, since we're in Africa, it is an African elephant. And of course, the other elephant that you get is an Asian elephant. And that kind of ties into what I was saying about the tusks. Because in Asian elephants, most of the time, the females don't have tusks at all. Or they have very, very small tusks. Where in our African elephants, they can actually, even the females can have quite big tusks. So one of the big differences, while our beautiful elephant uses his amazing trunk to feed, between African and elephant, Asian elephants, is one of the big things is the tip of the trunk. And if he lifts his trunk now, when he grabs the grass, if you look really closely, and you've got to be quite quick because it keeps disappearing, but if you look really closely at the tip of the trunk, an African elephant has 
a, a finger on each side of the trunk, kind of like a finger. It's basically an extension that they can use like a finger. In Asian elephants, there's only one. But of course, the big difference is the ear size. African elephants have these massive ears that are almost shaped like the continent of Africa. Whereas in Asian elephants, their ears are much, much smaller. Our Ellie is slowly but surely disappearing and the rest of his family haven't popped out. Oh, I think it's time for me to go and look for a leopard. But to keep you distracted while I do, I think I'm going to send you across to Byron and his lions.